Hi, I'm Daniel. And I'm Zach. And welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to tell you all about the pin trading night that happened at Coronado Springs for November of 2019. So, uh, the Disney World here in Disney World, I guess they do this at Disneyland too. They, they do. do. They do quarterly pin trading nights. We have it a little bit different here in Florida where we have three quarterly pin trading nights and then a really big event in the summer. In we did some vlogs about it. You yeah. might have seen them. Yeah, perhaps you've seen them. Um, I think in California they just do a four quarterly pin trading nights. Anyway, same concept. If we're wrong. Tell us down in the comments. <laughs> I'm sure they will. Uh, it, the the same concept though. Basically, there's a uh, the pins that are made exclusively for these events, and you pay to go to these events. Not a lot. They're like fifteen dollars or something to go to these events. They're not expensive. Uh, and then you buy the pins for them. So anyway, enough of that talking. It, the uh, pin trading night is held at the Coronado Springs Resort. Here we are walking across the parking lot, heading towards there, uh, and it's a great little time. Uh, if you are a longtime viewer of this channel, you know that uh, we went to our very first pin trading event, our pin trading night, February last year, and we were kind of overwhelmed by it. Was it last year? This year. Oh, this year, actually. Yeah, you're right. It's soon to be last year. <laughs> and then we went to our second one, and we were a little bit more comfortable on our second one. And then we did the fairy then we tales. Went to event. fairy tales, and it was ah. Uh... <laughs> and now this one, uh, we're just like old hats here. We uh, we ran into Beth Lung and the Disney Sisters. Here's some uh, you may I may pop up on the Disney Sisters channel eating a Rice Krispie that was done purely for science. I was not breaking my diet at the time. Uh, but we, we met them uh, and we hung in line with them. We got to see the new pin releases coming for next year, uh, at least the, uh, the the pin of the month ones coming for next year, four of those sets, which we'll tell you about. Uh, but I guess, uh, who else did we? Oh, we met uh, Absolutely Fabulaires and Disney Jess, who we went to dinner with at Rick's Sports Bar there at Coronado. We had a great meal with them. I had the Disney Food Vlog recommended Watchos. Here is a picture of them. They were delicious. And yes, I was breaking my diet. Mm -hmm. You should totally get that. Uh, anyway, yeah, so we had a great time. We uh, A very successful pin trading night. I think this time was really kind of, we hit our stride. We, we, yeah. For our first few and for fairy tales, mm -hmm. although less so, um, we were very afraid, honestly, of talking to the people in the pin trading room because yeah. a lot of those people take pin trading very 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 seriously yeah to the point where you know and i think we've discussed this before it's like it, it's almost like going into I, I i don't know how i'm gonna finish that they take it very seriously and i feel like with the, when you don't have a good book of traders it's like yeah. you're, you're afraid to uh yeah to talk to them because you think they'll just look at your pants and go like bah Away with you, peasant. Yeah, there's, you have nothing I want. Which is, you know, even if that's true, there's a polite way to say that. Yes. Uh, but, but this time, yeah, we, we had a really good trading yes. time this time. Uh, we managed to complete uh, the hidden Mickey figment set that you were collecting. Yes. Now uh, I don't have to spend the money on those bags. <laughs> and uh, now that we uh, are buying the Stitch House, of course, we had to start buying stitch pins buying stitch pins so we traded for or a lot trading of for yeah, stitch pins. Traded for a, a, quite a few stitch pins and we met a lot of really cool people and i wanted to just uh throw this out there yes i'm going to show you some pins hold on i want to throw this out there there we met this uh lady and her daughter um we stood in line with the mother but we we met her daughter. we traded some pins with her mother with her daughter um she has collected every single puzzle set for the past three years, Since she's completed. Started making them. Yeah, she's completed all three uh, three years worth of puzzle pins, and she is missing a single one. One pin, which is the Mushu Chaser for the Mulan set. So, if you know of anyone that has the Mushu Chaser pen, or any, if you have it, if you have it, get let us know because I would love to be able to give that pin to her just because I think that's incredible that she has done those puzzles. They are so hard to do. And she's done three years worth of them. I'm sure they'll be at the next pen trading night, so I, I would take it to her there. But um, yeah, if you know of that Mushu pin, the Mushu Chaser pin from the Mulan puzzle set, 
Leave a comment down below in the doobly doos or reach to us. Reach Asher, Shine the Shusher Spiders. What? Yeah. Uh, anyway, so let's talk about some pins. Uh, the theme for this pin trading night was the Little Mermaid 30th anniversary. And I did not get a single Little Mermaid pin. You did not. But go ahead and show them your Little Mermaid pins that you got. So, I love The Little Mermaid. It's one of my favorite Disney movies. It's probably my favorite Disney movie. Um, my mother has very embarrassing footage of me belting out part of your world in the back of the car at the mall when I was like three. Um, Look at this pen. Isn't it neat? <laughs> so this is the pass holder exclusive. It's uh, Ariel with the Prince Eric statue. Mm -hmm. He's more lifeless there than he is through most of the movie. Or, or excuse me. Did you not watch the live action with me the other night? The live action I, when that Prince Much Eric? like Queen Latifah, I flubbed my line. I meant to say he's more lifelike there than he is throughout the entire movie. Did you, the, 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 we watched the live action Little Mermaid thing. I liked it. I mean, I thought it was cool. Uh, I, I saw what they were going for there, the kind of the merging the different medias, and I liked that. Uh, also, who knew the kid from The Good Wife could sing? I thought that was great. I enjoyed Queen Latifah's Ursula a lot. Yeah. I liked Ariel. I liked, uh, Prince Eric, I thought he he got a couple of songs. They were good. I loved Max. Max had uh, no speaking parts, but he was great. Um, anyway, so what's your other Little Mermaid pin that you got? Um, I also got the Ursula and Vanessa Ooh, pin. Ooh, Ursula and Vanessa. Yes. Cool. Uh, yeah, and then this is the big one that you got here, right? Yes. The I wasn't sure if I was going to get this one, but just because it was a little pricey, but... Um, I ended up getting it because it's 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 a cute set. This is the Ariel and Friends set. Ooh. So you've got apparently she only considers her father a friend. Mm -hmm. There's Max, mm -hmm. Sebastian, mm -hmm. Flounder, and Scuttle. That is weird that she has her father as a friend. I mean, she leaves him behind in the sea at the end of the movie. She's so. got six sisters. Thirty-year-old spoiler alert. <laughs> She's got like six sisters. Aren't they her friends? Where are they? That's like, I don't know. Also, somebody pointed out that there was no Jack-Jack in that incredible set that we opened last time. And you're right. I didn't even think of that. There was no Jack-Jack in it. Yes. And um, I also got, go Sorry. this is not Little Mermaid themed, which is very odd, but mm -hmm. I got the Pin Trading Night exclusive yeah. of Beauty and the Beast. So the way these Pin Trading Nights work is that the pins that are available for the Pin Trading Night, the themed pins will then, any that are unsold will then go out, make their way out into the uh, shops around Walt Disney World for you to buy. Um, you may still actually see the frame set from the Cinderella one from yeah. February because yeah. it was usually like $325. Yeah, usually the frames, like, I think you can even still find the Small World frame set from Fairy, Fairy Tales. Tales. Yeah, so, but uh, the pin trading night pins here's the one that i got this is the uh, great mouse detective based one here these are exclusive to the event you cannot buy these afterwards um so they're only for the pin trading nights uh that makes me wonder so they're le of a thousand and they're split between the coasts so yeah there's only 500 on each coast yeah and there's more than 500 people at that event so um and then uh the pins that i did get i got my aristocats vintage vinyl because is it up can you see it yeah you can kind of see right there my vintage vinyl set that i am working on this this one and i i have one more to go before this is completed which will be my peter pan one for december um cool thing that i thought of i, I told this to the disney sisters in beth Lang when i was talking to them is i think i'm going to actually take some ribbon and put it on these posts and then just hang these as ornaments with the record kind of a little bit out there because that would be kind of a cool little ornament on one of our trees because now that we have now that can, can we officially say we we we, we no, no, no we cannot we officially say that we have we a have a house we 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 have been congratulated on completing all the steps and they they have they telling us that we're going to close this Thursday. This coming Thursday. So, but until I get keys in the hand, and we've signed paperwork. Yeah. 
I'm not going to believe it. Uh, so that was the only pin trading event. Oh, I'm sorry. I showed you the Aristocat. Duh. Uh, Disney made a small mistake. Uh, and by small, we mean a very large one. I don't know how large it was. I mean, some people were upset about it, but I think it was just a matter of pins usually come out on Thursdays. The stores got the pins in a shipment, and they didn't read on them that they're not supposed to put them out till Monday. So all of the holiday bell pins were supposed to go and come out on Monday the 11th. Uh, and instead, they came out. They were Yesterday. out. Yesterday. But they were only available at the resorts that were represented. So Monday the 11th, the whole set will be available downtown Disney and at Disney Springs. That has not changed. What's, it's what's just, left of it? <laughs> why are you always so pessimistic about that? I think it'll be fine. I know. It's just some of those have really small edition sizes. But then some of them are not, you know. Uh, yeah. People that were, anyway, this is the, uh, as we fight, sorry about that. This is the uh, Coronado Springs. You can see that it spins around. So it's got Miguel on one side, Coronado on the other. Uh, there are several of them that I want. Um, so we will either try we to find them. We may enlist the aid of uh, some friends. Yeah, we won't be there Monday because. It's Monday and we Monday. have to work. <laughs> but I think the Leffersons will still be in town on Monday. So maybe I can get them to go to Disney Springs and do a pickup for us. Anyway, uh, the other pins that I got uh, to, from a trading standpoint, we traded a whole bunch of pins, but I just wanted to show you a couple and you've got a couple to show. Yes. Um, these are some of the best trades that we did. And I didn't know that this was a, this is an LE of 1600 that I traded for. I did not know it was an LE of 1600. I hope I gave them a really good pin. Um, I'm pretty sure I did. I think that was one of the ones I was trading the uh, the Shelley May. Yes, yes. For, we yeah. we ran into this uh, this this young lady who gladly took every single Shelley May and Duffy pin we had off our hands, which is great because now they're not now they're replaced with Figment and yeah. Pluto and pe characters we like. So and then show that one. This That's one. That's the limited release. Yeah. Okay. So this is a limited release set of. Characters with the monorail. Yeah, so it's Figment. Featuring Aunt Figment. Yeah. And then this is a limited release that I traded for. This is a Stitch on a Train, which is really kind of cool. Uh, this is from 2014. So 2014 limited release Stitch on a Train. I don't know what the set is. I haven't looked it up yet, but it was cool. Is this 06? Yes. And then this one, apparently they did a parking lot series for Epcot and mm -hmm. all the other parks. This one features Figment. Yeah. And so, Why he's not an eye for Imagine, I don't know. I don't think but, they had Imagine back then. I don't think Imagine was one of the original Epcot parking lots. But this is a, what we now know as a hidden Mickey pin, although I guess that terminology is also being discontinued here soon. Yeah. This is a cast lanyard pin from 2006. Yeah. So it's an old one there. So yeah, we had a very, very successful pin trading night. Uh, let's see. Is there anything else that we need to... This is the last time you're going to see this because uh, unless we film something else today. But for the most part, yeah, we have to strike all this stuff down. We've packed... I just we started right, packing. Just right off camera there, you can see we've got boxes stacked up. And this boxes is, and yeah, tubs. This and... is kind of our area here. Um, but yeah... Oh, uh, there you go. Uh, one other thing I wanted to show you, there's a Vlogmas set coming up in December. Uh, and I'll show you a picture of it here. It's a little, it's got 24 hidden Mickey pin or hidden, myst 24 mystery pins in it. And those mystery pins uh, fit together to make four different um, vignettes, uh, Christmas themed vignettes. I believe it goes on sale in December. It's a little LE 1200. Uh, I have. It was on the table last night. I took a picture. I of missed there. it completely. I don't know the pricing on it and whatnot, but as soon as I buy mine and have it securely in my possession, I will make sure to let you know. So <laughs> anyway, uh, if you like what we do here on this channel, make sure you click on that subscribe button. If you like, if you really like the videos, Please click the thumbs up Give on the videos. Give us a big thumbs up. We appreciate it. Leave us comments. Tell mm -hmm. us, um, did you like any of these pins? Yeah. Speaking of, while we were at the pin trading night, uh -oh. we might have made a bit of a fuss regarding the Disney World one sheets. They're up on the website now. You're welcome. <laughs> Links to them are in the doobly-doo down below. Yeah. I don't think uh, we're, we're, it was we're, us. We're, yeah. 
we're far enough into the month now. If yeah. You, if you want to know what pins are coming out, look them up yourself. Yeah. Uh, we'll just put links to the PDFs if you want to check those out for the, the pins coming out in November. So we will probably not be doing a November LELR video. Thanks, Disney. Because next Wednesday, we have a cat box swap with other YouTubers who so will be opening our box swap. Uh, and then that following Saturday, we'll be publishing a pin challenge video that we did with the Leffersons that we will actually be doing tomorrow at Animal Kingdom. And then, uh, then we get into Thanksgiving, and you know, by that point, it's so deep in the month that you, you if you've yeah. missed a November pins, you missed them. So, anyway, all of that is all well and good. Hey, if you want to uh, reach out to us, make sure you uh, do. Oh, bleh, bleh. Links to our social media profiles are in the doobly doo down below. On the socials. Um. Is that it? I think yes. that's it. I don't know what it is. We've had a, a day. So we've had a uh, we've had a couple days. Anyway, uh, hey, I always say hey. Until next time. See you real soon. <laughs>